Alright, let's play this. So, before we do, and while it's loading, I'm gonna say that I realized um, something big that um, really makes your content bigger. And not bigger, but it makes it more interesting. The way you do it is that you talk slightly louder and then you talk slightly faster. I do stutter a lot when I talk fast. So I'll be like, Ooh, Battlefield, that's a, that's a, that, uh, that's a cool game. I'll just stutter and say, uh, uh, U-H, uh. <coughs> when you play your Battlefield 5 game, your stats and presence will, will I always have my brightness 10% higher. Headphones. 3D head, I should have put 3D headphones, freak! I think I could change that in the settings though. I'll just do settings, whatever. Loading, loading, loading. So, I don't know what kind of game Battlefield 5 is. I don't know if it's like Black Ops 3, like super futuristic, or I don't know if it's like a another World War 2 game. Okay. ended with a deafening silence. The world moved on. And in the silence, we forgot. This is London. You will now hear a statement by the Prime Minister. I am speaking to you from the cabinet room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note. I have to tell you now, this country is at war with Germany. My father asked me if I was truly ready to go to war. He told me that the good soldier kills without thinking of his enemy as a human being. In the moment he sees him as a fellow man, He's no longer a good soldier. And I was a good soldier. God help me. Dang, that's deep. Within each of us lie the seeds of an undefined greatness. We are the fathers of our own future. That future must be chosen, nurtured, guided. It must be driven with conviction. Lest our lesser nature has let it stray into shadow. The war would thoroughly explore man's potential. Finest moments, darkest hours. Summits of courage. Depths of hatred, hope, endurance, atrocity, death. Norway, 1940. Is it Norway next to Finland? Okay, I still can't move. Look. Can't move. And I can't look anywhere. This is just powered by itself. It can't do anything. Night right over Narvik Duck. So I'm thinking that you start like auto yes, you start off with the first part of the campaign. And then you unlock the multiplayer. And then you can choose to continue the campaign if you want. Alright, now we can move. Alright, so let's no 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 no. Options. Controls. Alright, so let's have our Aim sensitivity, uh, 40%. Soldier zoom aim sensitivity. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna bring that down to 90. Soldier sprint. Choose whether to hold a button for sprint or press a button to talk. I'll just put toggle. 
Double tap forward to sprint. No, heck no. I hate the Minecraft sprint. Double tap to sprint slide. <clears throat> sprint slide. I don't know what that is. Where's my sensitivity? I just need like regular sensitivity. I don't need aim sensitivity. Controller tuning. <sighs> L2 dead zone. L2 dead zone. Mix and put the sensor dead zone. Vibration is off. Alright, so we found one thing. Now we just have to find sensitivity. I think soldier aim sensitivity is just like regular sensitivity in when you um This is complicated. Why can't you just have normal sensitivity? Alright, how much I fifty percent? See if that works. Alright, yeah, that's way better. Automatically lean next to certain objects. You can lean while you're moving. It's pretty cool. All right, what's our next clutch oh. pattern? So this is pretty cool. I like the mechanics and stuff. Nah. We'll probably need it later though. Alright, what's our pistol? See if this pistol works. I wonder if it's a one kill, an instant kill to the head. Oh my god, that's a train in it. Oh my. We fought everywhere, in every condition known, using weapons we had never dreamed of. But death is death, no matter where you are. And suffering is the same in every language. How do you say suffering in Spanish? Suffering. Okay. So we're playing as the Sherman now. Final break for the turn. Top rip. Top rip. Try to say that German. Top rip. Get killed it. Get died. Get um, dabbed on. What am I doing? The dab is dead, no one likes that dance move. <laughs> oh, fuck. What? Who is shooting at me? I'm gonna freaking call someone's mother. Oh my god. This game. I do not like this game. I can't see anything! Everything's dusty. Oh my god. Okay, we did. Technology moved faster than you could think how to use it. Yours, theirs, it didn't matter. This war would prove that from ocean bed to mountaintop, the greatest killing machine 
His man. It's a brush. It's better. Alright, so we're a sniper now? Alright, so that's our objective. Oh yay, we blew up the tank. Heck yeah. The person next to you literally just got sniped. Are you dumb? Kidding. It's not semi-automatic. Oh my god. Alright, so if you're gonna play Battlefield 5, remember with this sniper, as soon as you shoot, it doesn't matter if you kill someone or not. You stole my kill, you frick. Total war brought death home. It wasn't just about the soldiers on the front. This time, the crosshairs found the workers on the assembly line. They found the commuters on the train. And they found the children in the yep. schools. So, we're getting killed in. What am I doing? Hard. I cannot do these controls. I'm just gonna fly away. Yep, totally. I didn't leave the fight or anything. Okay, well, he Infantry, just instantly killed me. Volunteers, conscripts, them and us. It didn't matter where the danger came from. The threat of death unified everyone. Victory. And staying alive. I've seen this weapon before. In World War II. Call of Duty World War II. I literally just played that game yesterday. If you guys watched, even watch my content. Or at least look at the titles and thumbnails. Okay, yeah, the tank just didn't kill me. Physics for you. 
but a freaking claymore 300 yards away from the camp in modern warfare. <laughs> Makes sense. It's a bullet that weighs heavier than the average shoe, and it's um, traveling to your um, stomach uh, faster than a Lamborghini, Man faster than our creation. What led it back to us? Does a hidden hand guide it? Birthing us in violence and blood. Ending us in fear. What's wrong with this thumb? Alone. Mo first modern warfare vibes. And you're still gonna shoot people. Until you pull the trigger on an enemy, you're not ready for war. Oh, I mean, he caught shot me. Die. Frick. Dang. Uh, I can see my reflection in the screen because the whole screen went black. Hello. Uh, you can't see it because I'm recording it and I am not recording it with my cell phone. Alright, just waiting on it to load. Uh So I talked to you about how deep war is and stuff like that. Literally, your dad could be like a Nazi and you could be like a British soldier and then either you or your dad just kills you or your dad just like that and you don't even realize it. Just a life, like a whole human life, all for 30 years. 30 years is a very long time. And just ends like that to some sort of freaking um, bullet gun and I think about that sometimes and that's why I'm scared of like wars and stuff like World War 3 would be the worst thing ever all right press X to start 
<sighs> I don't think I think we should end it off here. I'm gonna um do some gameplay in another video. Alright. Your boy Pito. He's been out. Wait, no not yet. Single player. Multiplayer Firestorm. Battle Royale. <laughs> Oh my god, basically Black Ops 4. Alright, well next, the first thing we're going to play is a multiplayer, but I'm going to have to save that for another time. It's been your boy Pedo. Okay, bye.